Hey everyone, this is Grant just checking in and I wanted to give you an update on the crypto lending experiment that we've been going on. So what is it? Go back and watch the original crypto lending video. You might have even heard of cryptocurrency lending, but Marissa and I in our empire building that we've been doing and that a lot of the Patreon and Discord members are following, we wanted to make sure that our parked money was growing. Now, as you know, we do have several IRA accounts and investment accounts and the IRA accounts this year. I don't think have moved even 2% net for the whole year. It's been a kind of a crazy year. Uh, it's grown through cash injection, but it hasn't grown through any sort of leverage. Now that's okay. Sometimes years are sideways. You get um, dividends that kind of multiply a little bit, but there's been no growth. So of course, as I've gotten back into cryptocurrency, I've been wanting to find those cryptocurrency numbers that everyone keeps promising. So of course I saw someone say they're getting 60% crypto or annualized returns on the crypto lending. So I went ahead and ran the experiment. Go back and watch the original video to get a, a setup of where we're at. But I just wanted to give you a quick check-in and I'm very happy with the results. And I think you're going to be happy with it too. So there's other challenges going on right now. And you might've seen that this is one of the highest years for inflation on record. Combine that with stratified salary rates, and I really, truly believe that every individual, every individual that can in a free market economy really needs to take more aggressive control of their finances. If your average IRA is now not making more than about 8% a year, and inflation is at about 5% a year, you don't have a lot of margin for growth at that 3% difference. Now, some people will say, no, the average markets make 11 or 13%. We haven't seen that of late unless you're really good at picking investment funds or, or mutual funds that are, are outperforming the market a little bit. But even with the S&P 500, we haven't seen much aggressive growth in the last two years or so now. It's pandemic numbers, I understand. All that to say that there's a problem between inflation and lower earnings on traditional markets. So we're in crypto, we're looking at crypto lending, and my goal was to, was to put my money where my mouth was. Can you actually get 60% returns? So I wanna show you where we're at. I wanna show you my current portfolio. So very briefly, let me, let me bring this up. So what you can see right here is a very general graphic. We've got about 89.95% of my holdings are in USD Tether. And, and then we've got up here, the remainder is about 16% or 12% or I don't even know off the top of my head, but is, is my crypto lending with Dow, DAO. And this is just my current portfolio mix. USD Tether is very predictable. There's a lot of liquidity, meaning there's a lot of people borrowing and lending and returning. So I might have a seven day crypto loan and people are paying it back early and I'm still getting my returns, which I'll cover in just a quick second. And then the Dow has a little bit lower liquidity, but a much higher rate of return, but it's a strong lending pillar for me right now. So I'm actually going to expand that Dow lending, and then we're going to add, about, add to the crypto lending experiment. And we'll cover some of that in, in at the very end of this video under new experiments. But real quick, this is my current mix that it has been for the last few weeks. As of today, that's changing. And in my next update, I'll kind of share how that change is going and how I'm balancing this portfolio and what those returns are. But the original experiment was just to put $100 here and $100 there. And over the, the subsequent weeks, when my first seven-day contract for US Tether came through, I went ahead and added another, I moved my balance up to $500 and then auto lent that and kept a reserve of $50. And when that seven day came through, I then bumped it to $750. And then currently it's a bit higher. So if you want all of those details, join the Patreon. I show you everyone the exact amounts I'm working with so that you know I'm not just blowing smoke. And then how we're going to double down and increase our balances the more faith we gain in the system. So I just wanted to kind of show this to you and show you what my balance was. So that's current my, my current portfolio. And... You know, if the markets continue, if the standard markets continue to go the direction they're going, if inflation continues to go the direction it's going, and if the crypto market continues to go where it's going, more and more of my money and my resources will be in these systems that I have built trust in. Is it risk? Is crypto risky? Yes, of course, it's unregulated, it's decentralized. There's a much higher risk. But I heard a great example 
from a crypto trader who was being questioned about the veracity of U.S. Tether. And he simply said this. He said, listen, all of us in the know who are of uh, electronic funds trader for cryptocurrency that we're dealing with large volumes of transactions in U.S. Tether and other cryptocurrencies like that, do we know that there are red flags and flaws? Of course. But would we sacrifice the opportunity to make the money we're making using these infrastructure cryptocurrencies and lose those opportunities simply because of the red flags? And the answer is no. And he's, here's what, here was his metaphor. He said this. He said, if I handed you a grenade and I said there's a timer on it that could be a minute to 30 minutes to two days, but every 10 seconds you hold it, I'll make you $1,000. How long would you hold it? Well, at minimum, you'd hold it for 30 seconds, but you didn't know beyond that what was going on. And that's kind of this metaphor of how this crypto market is going. And that's why I'm dealing with seven day increments. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the 14 to 28 day increments in a second. But that's kind of my paradigm of crypto lending. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. And then I'll actually be sharing my other experiments with crypto and definance like uh, leverage trading, uh, trading bots will be covering that. And of course, all the details are always available in the Discord to Patreon holders. And if you're not a Patreon holder, just get into the Discord because a lot of people are making good recommendations. Like we actually got into Shiba Inu and we're up, I think, 40% on Shiba Inu because one of the other members brought up Shiba Inu and I've been avoiding meme coins and altcoins because I like to make sure my money is making money. And uh, I am conservative from that regard, though I'm taking a lot of these experiments. But they recommended Shiba Inu. We bought it and now we're up 40% and we took a few of those profits and now we're just uh, watching it go. So let's talk about the actual results. So the first crypto I want to cover is the DAO, the DAO, DAO Maker. And the USD Tether is actually uh, a really big, it's a big, it's a, over 80%, nearly 90% of my crypto lending. But there's some nuance to it that I want to show you those numbers that have been kind of frustrating, but let's give a simple example. And let's start with Dow. So with the DAO, um, Dow Maker, we started with simply 100 bucks, and we put $100 in and we began doing the seven day trades. Now, as I said, the liquidity is much lower and there, weren't, there aren't as many takers, basically in terms of supply and demand, I am putting out my supply and the demand is lower than U.S. Tether. Not so low that we're not getting trades, but lower than U.S. Tether. And so I put my money in and, P and finally we had some of our contracts take. And so we began, actually we began with $110 specifically. And I've, I've added it and let me actually show you kind of just a quick snippet. This is uh, on the left-hand side here. Let's see over here. These are the daily rates of the trades that we that that we did. So we did one, two, three, four, four different trades within this time period. And some of them returned immediately. Someone took a seven-day loan and paid it back in a single day. Some people did a seven-day loan and paid it back in seven days. 100% payback rate. And you can see there's not a lot of variation. You can see there's not a lot of variation in the rate of return. It's pretty consistent. And so I was doing my average rates of return, and then I calculated a daily net interest rate. Now I said daily net interest rate because you do pay for the service. You do you do have a fee come out, but it's it's nominal. So I was coming out with this daily net interest rate. And so in the first week, the first seven day period, because I wanted to make it clean, the first seven day period, I canceled my auto lending so I could actually calculate my earnings. And I started with 110 and lo and behold, here let's actually show I ended up with 111. I made a dollar. But wait a minute, Grant, that's not a lot of money. You can see right here. Well, I'll go over that in a second. So a dollar return, Grant, that's not a lot of money. And you're absolutely right. A dollar return on $110 is not a lot of money. But what did I prove? I proved that I could get, let's pull this up. I proved that I could get a daily rate of return of 0.132% compounded daily or in seven day contracts, depending on how you want to calculate it, but it comes out to nearly the same. So if you actually do, what I did was I took this rate and I, I did it step by step where I took the $110 and I did the 0.132% and added those pennies to that. And it compounded over 365 days. And that same $110 would come out to $179.63. And that would give you a, a, a return of $68.63, which would actually give you a return of 61%, 61.82%. 61 
So I am very confident in the DAO. I am actually getting, this is, this is my actual spreadsheet that I am actually getting 61.82%. And my money is now back in and I've added money to the Dow and I will be adding more. Now there was a hangup that we had with the DAO and it's this liquidity issue. I was having a liquidity issue because my, my Dow sat for about three days where there was open contracts and no takers. But as of this morning, I just looked at it this morning and those takers had now taken the contracts and now those contracts are invested. So I was a little concerned at first, like, man, I'm getting 61% annualized return, but not if the money's not working. So a 61% obviously assumes that your money is working for you full time. If you haven't read it yet, read The Richest Man in Babylon, The Richest Man, woo. The Richest Man in Babylon, great, great book. And it's about making sure that your money is always working. So what about those three down days? Well, let's say uh, instead of 61% return, I lost out on what was our rate of return. I lost out on 0.132% for three days. And then it's not fixed because that compounds. So there's a little bit of, you, you, maybe I missed out on 0.5% interest rate compounded. It's not a lot. And if you're looking at making over, 8%, you're still doing phenomenally. Would you settle for 30% return? Would you settle for 40% return? Of course you would. So I'm very happy. This, this experiment makes me very happy. I would, I would put my name on this with KuCoin. Could KuCoin get hacked? Yes. Could KuCoin go defunct? Yes. Could Dow quit trading? Absolutely. The rates fluctuate almost weekly. But in general, I have stably received 61%. 0.82%. Absolutely happy with this. So then let's talk about USD Tether. And let's talk about, before we jump there, let's talk about risks about Dow. Could Dow go out of business in this opportunity and not be available? Of course. That's why I am striking while the iron is hot. And watch the other video for how to set up. I've got a, a video on how to set up uh, an account in KuCoin, how to actually start crypto lending. We've got another video for that. So maybe watch here for that. So now let's talk about USD Tether. So my experiment with US Tether started the same way. I started with $100. When that was a success, I went to 500, I went to 750, and I think now we're closer to almost $1,000, $850 of cash put in. And so I've got all of those details for the Patreon members, but I was running into an issue with USD Tether. When it comes to crypto lending with the Dow, generally speaking, if you have $500, available to lend, they'll put a contract out for $500. And then someone will say, I'll take that $500 or not. Usually they'll actually take the full $500. With USD Tether, there is so much volume and so much demand and so many, so many different contracts. They'll actually fractionalize. If you have $1,000, they might do a $100 contract, a $200 contract, and a $700 contract, and they'll break it up. That doesn't sound so difficult unless you're trying to calculate your rate of return. Because if the $700 contract, if the person pays it back immediately, you have to calculate that rate of return. But if the, if the $200 goes all the way to four days, you have to calculate that rate of return. And then if the $100 goes the full seven days, then there's that rate of return. And then you have to calculate, well, how much did I actually have invested here? And did it compound? So it actually, it actually looked like this. Just bear with me for a second. Boom. I had all of these transactions for the same $800. I had $800 roughly invested and all these transactions were moving very quickly. So it took me quite some time to actually determine my actual average rate of return. Um, and that was, that was a bit of a challenge because there's the start date and the close date of these contracts, and it's not so clean. Sometimes the maturity date is the date it's supposed to mature, and sometimes the maturity date is the date it actually got returned to you. And so then I had to calculate how long, if, if they showed me a rate of return, and I had to divide that by seven days or 14 days to figure out what my actual daily rate of return is. Then I had to divide it by 12 hours or 17 hours. So it took me a long time to actually calculate my average rate of return. I don't think I'll do this in so much detail again, unless you ask me to, because I'm not the numbers guy. And maybe we need Adam Welchel of Spark Billing Solutions to, to get involved and help me calculate this a little bit, or my lovely wife who's great at math. So I've leveled up to about $800 of cash in. And my finished amount 
was $843. So I, I actually came in at $836.87 is technically what I've put in. And $843.23 is technically what I've got out. And so after all of this math, I had over this experimental period, $5.40 interest. So after all of my calculations, here we go. Boom. I had an average annual rate of return of 23.34%. So after all of these calculations, boom, I did all of my math and came up with my daily rate. And then I, I ran my math for 365 days. You can see that over here. I ran my calculations for 365 days over here. I actually had my daily rate of return. And then in the middle, I ended up with this, boom an average annual rate of return of 23.34%. Boom, USD Tether is doing phenomenally as well. So I've got Dow, here we go, let's go back to this. So I've got Dow cruising at 60%, 60 plus percent. I've got USD Tether cruising at about 20% and both are extraordinarily over delivering. I've had a 100% payback rate. I've only had a few down days. The only negatives are I've only had a few down days. You never know if, if Dow might go out of business. I think they're established. If you actually look behind that crypto itself, it's a very established crypto. USD Tether has a lot of haters in its field, but it is an infrastructure stablecoin at this moment. That doesn't mean it's a sure thing. It means my risk is relatively lower. Remember, risk, risk, the definition of risk is the difference between what you should know and what you do know. So keep that in mind. So Dow results top notch, USDT results, top notch. So let's talk about very briefly my new experiments. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I went through seven day contracts for between when I started this experiment and today. And when, as I started to build up trust in those, I added 14, a few 14 day contracts and those came through with a hundred percent payback rate. So now I'm going to open up my automatic lending. There's an automatic lending function. And again, go watch the other video on automatic lending. There's an automatic lending function. I'm going to open that up to seven, 14 and 28 day lending because you get just a little bit more rates. I think I'm going to be selective with that because I want to make sure this money is coming back to me and it is compounding on itself. So it doesn't really affect if I got that money back daily, if I got that money back every seven days, the compound rate wouldn't be huge over a year, seven days versus 28 days, because you're still getting that rate of return. My biggest goal will be to have that date on my calendar to make sure that my money is being reinvested and monitor how many down days I'm having. If the Dow keeps showing that it has too many down days, I might need to find another crypto. So then let me move to my second addition to my experiment. And that is I'm adding other cryptos. The first thing I'm adding is Tezos. I'm a big fan of Tezos. In fact, like of the blue chips, I love Ethereum, eh, Bitcoin, whatever. I love Ethereum. I love Cardano. And I have historically loved Ripple, though I sold a bunch of that Ripple in our sell alerts in the Patreon. But I have also grown to love Tezos. It has a great daily rate of return. If you're holding Tezos in Coinbase, you'll get a 4% daily return that just drops, right? They do daily deposits so that it does compound daily. Your balance does compound daily. It's a very fun crypto to trade because it swings between seven and eight dollars and down to six dollars, seven and eight dollars down to six dollars. And that's a great way to every two weeks take 10 or 15% profits. And then when it dips, buy more. And so I've been able to churn Tezos well. But here's the thing. I found out that crypto lending on KuCoin offers 10% returns versus 4% returns on Coinbase. So I've begun my experiment. I've moved about 100 uh, US dollars of Tezos over to KuCoin, and I'm about to start my first Tezos crypto lending experiment. So that will add to my mix of crypto lending very shortly. So I will be adding that cryptocurrency to my crypto lending. And then the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to rebalance my portfolio. If the Dow really is humming along at 60% and I want to maximize those returns, I've got 80% in over 80%, 90% of my crypto lending and US Tether at 23% return. I'm gonna balance that out so it's more like 60% US Tether at 20% returns. I'm gonna get aggressive with my Dow doing about 30% of that. And then during this first experiment, I'm gonna do about 10% of that balance in Tezos and see what returns I actually get. And then I'll rebalance again.
So that's kind of where I'm at. I hope this has been helpful and informative to you. Listen, if you like this video, like or subscribe. We love that. It goes a long way. Or if you're interested in getting our being involved in our community, join our Discord. But if you want our crypto trades, please look at our Patreon. We'd be honored to have you. We've got a few seats available. So check it out. Hopefully, this has helped you today. But remember, remember what this is all about. If we're out here making you money, you making us money, we're building our empires together, we're building our crypto, but it's not just about crypto. It's about small business. It's about multiple streams of income. If you're building all this, why are you building it? Well, I encourage you to remember the mission igniting lives of explosive significance, starting with your own. Have a great day.